All right, paying for college just got more expensive. Interest rates on federal student loans have gone up. Financial professional Brad Allen joins us with more on what students and parents need to know before, uh, you know, you start filling out those uh, FAFSA forms and borrowing this right. time of year before yeah. you head off to school in the fall. Yeah, so we're looking at the 2018-2019 school year mm -hmm. and the federal Stafford loan, which is the, the most popular loan, right. Right. it's actually going up. It's going from 4.45% to 5.04%. Wow. Okay. Graduate student loans are going up, plus loans are going up, which is for parents and graduate students. So basically what that means is if you, you take out a $10,000 loan this year, you're going to end up paying $12,757 in interest mm -hmm. on the lifetime of that loan, which is up $350 from last year. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound like a lot, but a lot of students are taking out a lot more than ten thousand dollars, and it's and the, it's the creep too. that gets you. It's the what? The creep, right? Oh, but yeah. it gets bigger and bigger every year. You it need just, more it, and more yeah. money every mm -hmm. year. It builds, and you think about, you know, kids coming out of college. Uh, it's tough to put money into a 401k sure. or a retirement account or savings account when you have all this debt looming over your shoulder. So that's becoming a problem too. So you just want to start thinking about that stuff ahead of time, doing the calculations ahead of time so you know what you're going to have to pay. Okay, you were talking about what you should do before you borrow. So let's go to that graphic where you kind of break down some of the things people should be thinking about before they borrow. Yeah, you just want to calculate the cost. So before you sign the dotted line, know what you're going to pay ahead of time. You know, uh, it's said that there's so many different options out there, whether it's a state school or out of state school. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of kids going to a community college for the first two years and then uh, the next two years just transferring the credits over because a community college per credit is about 60% less expensive than a four year school. So there's all sorts of things you can do that way. Real quick here, last 20 seconds, mm -hmm. the third item, check repayment options. There are different levels of payment that you can adjust there's to about depending eight on options. your income. So on our website, wealthwisconsin.com, we mm -hmm. have a list of all of them. You can type in what you're, what you're thinking about and it'll show you if it's the right, the right way to go. All and right. always try to plan for the future. Yes, right. you can. Got a question for the experts? You can send an email, ask the expert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number is right there on your television screen.